I'll mention something that's sitting outside. I can I can see it from here that people might be interested in. So I I have been and still am a fervent believer in cold therapy. Mm. So using using ice baths as a means of controlling it inflammation as a means of mood elevation. Oh, mood elevation, big time. Oh, it's unbelievable. And uh, generally, my approach has been to get a chest freezer of some type and fill it with ice, et cetera. Yeah. And that works, but they get really disgusting really quickly. And They all do, dude. I bought one of the machines, the real pro ones. Yeah, and then you're stuck with this thing that is an eyesore and you don't and you know what to do with it. it. I tried to sell it. I couldn't. Yeah. So I ended up because I, I realized how much of a, uh, how significant a lever this is for improving my quality of life just on a daily basis. Like, and I'll backstep for a second and just say one thing that I learned from Tony Robbins to give him credit. And I don't know if he came up with this, but is this sequence of state story strategy. So it's like fix your state first. Only then can you come up with an enabling story and only then can you come up with an effective strategy. Because if you're like feeling shitty and you're sleep deprived and you're kind of depressed or anxious or whatever, you try to come up with a strategy, meaning how to fix something, Mm -hmm. you're not going to come up with a good strategy, generally Mm -hmm. generally speaking. So it's like fix fix your physical state first. Then you can come up with an enabling story, then come up with an effective strategy. So the the state piece is very important. There aren't that many ways I have found to change state. Exercise is one, but it requires generally a fair amount of time. Heat is also effective, but again, generally requires, say, it doesn't sound like a much, but it's like 15 to 30 minutes, let's just say, in a sauna. Very effective. Cold is the fastest. It's just the fastest for me. And I've gone without cold therapy because I've not wanted to get some huge chest freezer or a, a, a pro model. I am also going to be getting a pro model. They get all scummy though, and then you got to put chlorine in them, and it's just, it's a lot. Yeah, this is all that. But I went on Amazon and I found something called the Cold Pod, which you set up in like five minutes. You fill it with water from a hose. You put ice in. And it works perfectly well as a cold plunge. And I I ended up buying a Yeti cooler to store ice in. So I have a few days of ice. And uh, it's, let's see, what would it be? It would be like, if you were standing, maybe it's hip height. And it's probably three feet in diameter. And you get in, you just kind of crouch in there. And it works fucking great. It works really well. And it costs like 150 or 200 bucks, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's 100 bucks. It's not crazy. 169. There you go. And I've been really impressed with this thing. It's very basic. And even when it's been very hot outside, like you put in two bags of ice and you let it sit for 20 minutes, it's going to get pretty cold. It's not going to be 30 degrees, but it's probably going to be mid 50s, depending on how much water you have in there. Pro tip, the more water you have in there, the more ice you're going to need to cool it. So don't fill it all the way up to the top. Yeah, fill it up like halfway and then add the ice. And it's been a game changer for me. <laughs> it's a plastic trash can, dude. Well, no, it's not a plastic trash can. I mean, probably it is- never made this shit because it probably cost them like... 15 bucks to build one of these things. <laughs> yeah, it's not a trash can. I just to be clear, I mean it's look, it's we're not talking about a fucking Maserati, but here's what's nice about it. It's very easy to set up. It's not a trash can cuz that makes it sound like it's like mid chest height and hard. It's easy to pack. You can actually travel with it if you want to travel with it. So, I would just say for people who have How do you travel with it? Oh, it's super easy, man. Oh, it folds up? Yeah, it folds up. You stick it in a bag. You can take it with you. It's super easy. Put it in your hotel room. <laughs> yeah, the hotel loves 50 gallons of water spilling out. <laughs> so for those people who have perhaps heard about the benefits of cold therapy but have avoided it because it's too expensive, it's too time-consuming, whatever, this is a way to test it. And I would just say this is a low-hurdle way to test it out. And I used it earlier today. Gives fantastic. Changed my day. So that's the cold pod. 
Yep. And there are a bunch of other options that look basically identical. I just went with the one with the best reviews. <laughs> Nothing fancy.